You about to get your ass whooped by my haystacks giant, you Canadian bitch. Here we go! Conceded. I just came running across the Canadian board. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I forgot. Hold on. <gasps> Conceded. I just came running across the Canadian border to get some intel on you. Because apparently fat guys can't do cardio either, right? Sorry, guys. I don't take acting classes like some people to have a talking point in here. Don't really do props either. Oh, ow, my knees, ow, I can't squat, because it takes a cane for me to get out of my chair too, right? Conceded. There's been a lot of talk, a lot of speculation. You let your ego get in the way of this challenge. You see, get yourself one minute, 30 seconds to my four and 25. On a good day, you couldn't beat me at three and three. You see, what you got now you got a serious problem. You're going to have to come up with one of your little mixtape raps to try to squeeze into a minute and a half in the hopes that maybe you get a good laugh and you get a couple of the judges to swing your way. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, my friend. Now, you see, we all know your Marty Jannetty partner, he beat me in my first match. I'll give them those props for now. But see, we all know that you have doubt. We all know that you know that you can't beat me. Everybody knows it. Conceited knows it. CRA knows it. Tim knew it. Now, as I said, I came into Canada seeking some intel and I got it because you know you live by your name conceited sit around with your little audio diary recording all your thoughts all your plans for the day you know nobody in BTV likes conceited hell your tag team partner don't even like you Jamie Clump doesn't even like Conceited. But just for the entertaining purposes and viewing pleasure of everybody in BTB, let's go ahead and play some of those clips that we found in Conceited's Daily Audio Thoughts. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. I know that I'm going to get beat by haystacks and I just can't face it. Ow! I burned myself with my Tim Hortons coffee and I don't know what to do. Oh well! Haystacks is much better than my ball headed self. Canada sucks. Good morning, BTB. Conceited. I woke up this morning thinking, if I wake up every morning and I'm haystacks, what do I think about? I wonder why people are afraid of my shadow. I'm really angry that a 12 pack of Pepsi went up by 15 cents. I really hope my neighbors don't change their Wi-Fi password. The kids really enjoy YouTube. I'm praying on my knees that the welfare check comes in time for Christmas. 
I don't want to disappoint everyone again. All I want for Christmas is my one front tooth. I really enjoyed Velcro shoes. I hope they make a comeback. Why did I get fired from Walmart as the night cleaner? I thought I was doing a really good job. I really should not filled my truck tires with helium. That was a big mistake. And why is Conceited just so damn sexy and talented? That's the biggest question of them all. Well, you see, Haystacks, I can't answer any of those questions. I just thought, you know. bicep rocking beast of a one-man gang. See, not only am I the one-man gang, not only am I the king of sin, I am still and forever the American Viking. Which means I have not forgotten my old ways. I have not forgotten how I was brought up. Blood eagles and decapitations were my morning chores. Now, Gary, I decided to put on my Villain Club shirt today because I will 100% always be the villain in the faction story. But in this story, in this time and tale, once upon a time, a beast walked in, destroyed the land, and in that land resided the fraction. And in fraction... They shit their pensions. And at the end of this tale, you do not live happily ever after. In this tale, evil wins. Now the rest of BTB can be put on notice. Because once me, the family, get done with you... We are taking out everyone else. And still, we'll be the villains in those stories as well. But I'm focusing on you right now, Gary. Which means you should be wearing your brown pants. I'm focusing on you, Gary. Which means that, boot or not, I'm going to stomp your skull. And as a matter of fact... This big ass boot is only going to help me do that. This is going to be a very short story sack. The beast walks in. Valhalla driver. Nut sack. Gone. One man gang. CT Bouyer. American Viking, whatever you want to call yourself. How about Tim's Puppet? Couldn't stick with your own gig, American Viking, huh? Had to follow somebody else, use somebody else's brain because you don't have one yourself. That's cool. Listen, bro, I ain't playing around with you. And what's happening today is serious. And you're going to see how serious it is. Let me tell you something. Getting kind of sick with all the herpy things and Vagicil. I don't know what your obsession is with that shit, but keep that shit to yourself. And also, when I'm done with you, you're going to see what shit's about. The faction don't play around, and I don't play around. And you'll see 
after today when you're laying on the mat, bruised and bloodied, looking up at me with my hand raised in victory. That's what we do. That's what the faction does. And you and your boys will see that on the 16th of December come war games. Let me tell you something. You could hide behind Timmy. But come war games also, Sir Little Chris is going to bust your ass. So gang, this is my message. Wake up. Lose the family and stick to yourself because you're in a losing battle. One faction. So, is this how it's supposed to work? Kill shot? Anthony Vasquez? You know, I went ahead and said your name right. Am I supposed to have some silly little knickknacks hanging on the wall? Or have something to say, hey, this is what I'm associated with? Am I supposed to have a Mexican-American flag behind me or whatnot? Now, let me go ahead and tell you something right now. You're with the cartel. But the Mexican-American dream does not take you seriously, kill shot. Because every time I see you, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a little brother who's just getting into high school that wants to play varsity football because his big brother was the star, the star receiver, the star quarterback of the team, and he wants to fill them shoes. But the difference between you and your brother Kill Shot is that your brother actually has talent. You don't even get to touch the ball because you're the water boy. My, my, my mama said, my, my, my mama said, exactly, your mama said that you were really good at stuff, so you try to do it just like your brother and you cannot achieve it. So you want to go with your little knickknacks behind the wall. You want to have your little scary clown mask. You want to have your Homer Simpson dressed as Pablo Escobar and everything else that you got hanging on your wall. Oh, that's real cute. Looks like a cheap old flea market to me out here in South Texas. Now, you got your silly little knickknacks, well, so do I. I got Shawn Michaels Iron Man because you know why? The Mexican-American dream is an Iron Man and he does not stop until he gets the victory. And he does not stop until he can't go no more. But the thing about you, Kill Shot, is you got it easy. You got your boys protecting you. I don't. I don't have nobody because you know why? Because I ride solo. I got pride and I know deep down in my heart that I have what it takes to take anybody down, especially you. This is an easier challenge. I'm more worried about Top Chef than I am about you because you, my friend, are nothing compared to the Mexican-American dream. You are absolutely nothing. You's a joke trying to fill your big brother's shoes like I said earlier. And you know what, man? I think I'm just wasting my time with you. It's time to go to Kill Shot. Mexican-American dream out. What's going on, BTB? Y'all are in for a big treat because this is the very first edition of cooking with the Mexican-American dream. And I'm going to cook one of my favorite dishes of all time. And Top Chef, I hope you're paying attention because I'm only going to do this one time and one time only. So you get your main ingredient, you throw it in, all right? You get your little bit of spices, you put it in there as well. <clears throat> you get a cup of water and put it in there. <clears throat> Mix it all up. And what you got right there, Top Chef, is a dish of an absolute ass whooping. And I hope you took notes. TB, you already know who it is. I go by the name of Kill Shot. And today, I got two bodies that I'm about to add to my list. Two victims that weren't even ready. Collateral damage for me making it to the top. Mr. Top Chef, I don't know why you try to talk so much. Because what you speak in is garbage. And what you make is garbage. So how about you 86 yourself out this equation? <laughs> Mr. Roland, you said there's a time for everything, right? And your time's coming up. It's ticking up to that time, right? You was never ready. So I advise you to roll the other way before you get caught inside this drive-by. Because both of y'all just collateral damage. Because I'm going to make it to the top regardlessly. So while you in my way... And probably, <laughs> this will probably be the last thing you guys see before you get buried. 
And you don't got to be dead to be buried. I throw y'all in the same hole, in the same box, and watch you scream while I put the dirt on top of you. You guys were never ready. <laughs> they fed y'all to me because you guys can't get the job done. They know I'll get the job done. At the end of the day, I'll make sure that BTB stays at the top tier. You guys are funny. <laughs> you guys are cute. There's a lot of jobbers out there in BTB, and you know who you are. You must think you put in so much effort. Play top chef. The only thing you're going 86 is your career. <laughs> and you could take Mr. Rowland with you because he's the side dish. And the main course and the appetizer was trash. So you know that's going to become 86. So like I said, roll the other way, Mr. Rowland. And top chef, pick up your hat and take your garbage with you. Because at the end of the day... <laughs> You ain't matching kill shot. And presenting your native states champion, Top Chef. Well, what's going on, BTB Nation? It's the Top Chef, your native states champion, taking his nightly stroll, wondering how did I get myself in such a match with these two individuals. Let's take a look, why don't we? See, we have my first competitor, Double R, Rolling Rhodes, the person who prides itself on doing the same goddamn thing millions of Americans do every single day, which is roll out of their bed, go make their money, come home and pay bills. Damn, I didn't think being an adult was such an accomplishment these days. Shit, what you want, a participation trophy? Come on now, you want to be this blue-collar, hard-working man? Shit, I do it every single day. You're nothing special. You're nothing but an average joke. Nothing more, maybe less, but nothing more. And then we have the next person who goes by the name of Kill Shot. Well, unlike everybody else, I could care less where you cut your promos. Because let's face it, I don't know what you're shooting at, but the only thing you're killing is your career. See, you couldn't handle it as a singles competitor. So you jump ship to a tag team, where you're the only goddamn person promoing anyway. You couldn't even hold your own weight, let alone the weight of two people. So I don't know what you're doing, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish, but you too, my friend, are nothing more than an average joke. Nothing more, maybe less, but nothing more. You see, when y'all both come to step up to the likes of Top Chef, a champion here in BTB, let's face it, Neither one of you have accomplished anything. Not one thing. You took a lot of L's and you put up no W's. So what makes you think you should be in the square circle with me? You need to go head on, get a W under your belt, and then maybe, just maybe, the top chef has room for you. But let me tell you what the top chef brings to the table. He brings class, he brings finesse, he brings the sugar, the spice, and everything nice. Because let's face it, I'm smooth, I'm clean, I got the look, I got it all. And you two have just stepped into my world again, hoping to claim some type of fame. When the top chef just showed you all that he could switch it up and 86 your ass from everywhere from winter, spring, summer, and fall. 